Yo folks and welcome to the channel. My name is Bork. In today's video, we'll be talking about Dragon Quest Adventures of Die. We're going to be doing a sort of reroll guide, some beginner tips, and showing you my first impressions on this. So let's go ahead and jump into this character customization really quick. I want to build a character that looks somewhat like Broly. So I'm going to go for like this green hair sort of serious look right here. His eye colors are going to be white because, well, Broly looks like a pretty pissed off dude. And then he's going to be of the lighter skin tone because that's what Broly essentially was and then I'm just gonna keep him at brave I'm not sure what he's gonna sound like I'm probably never even gonna hear it to be quite honest but yeah that's gonna be like the character customization page right there I kind of enjoy it because there's not a lot of gotcha games that really do it anymore and when it comes to this game it reminds me of like an active auto runner sort of game because you can like cast skills you can shift left and right but don't worry there's like an auto button and everything now this is going to be the first recruitment right here just note that this is a guaranteed four star spear so in case you're like oh do i have to like keep re-rolling on the first roll no this weapon right here is guaranteed you're gonna get it every single time and since you're gonna get it every single time don't try to re-roll for this weapon so you're gonna hit end right there you're gonna say good job and it's gonna bring you to the altered altar and it's gonna be like hey you know you got like that new weapon so you can equip your gear i don't think like the pink bat looking dude that was not a character originally in the anime i actually like the anime quite a bit i watched up to the point Point where guy was you know finding out he's a certain type of tribe and then like they met like certain characters i don't want to do like any spoilers but i know who hyunkil is and like i know who mam is like i know who like pop is you know and like how he grows as a character pop is probably the character with the most actual like development within the story because die is like your standard like shonen protagonist and then right here let's go ahead and jump back so you can see what i did you go into the present box right here you hit accept all that way you can get essentially two free rolls and then go ahead and jump back here and then you're going to go into treasure hunt and this is the banner that you're going to want to roll on for and then here are going to be like the rates and stuff the rates are roughly three percent for a four star not to mention there's like a chance of getting like different skills i'm not sure like how exactly it works to get a character if you have to like go through the story or something i haven't played that far this is like a first impressions like i said now i know some of you guys are wondering what do i reroll for so don't take this as like a definitive like sort of guide this is just suggestions from like the jp community all right but essentially what you want to get is any of like the weapons where it's papunika knife the avon sword vacuum axe the magical booster this one's good for pop and then you got the gospel one which is pretty much your sort of like healing support based weapon and then you have like the rest of like the different armor the best armor in the game is like the dragon stuff but honestly there's such few like items in the entire game that all of them you know sort of sit at the same button and the only reason why the spear is like so low like i said is because that is a guaranteed drop and there's no need for you to essentially get the drop again so in case you guys are wondering that's what you essentially aim for just try to get a weapon if you get a weapon luckily enough then i feel like you'll be pretty set because you'll be able to equip some stuff on other characters so let's go ahead and jump right into here and do a treasure hunt this is going to be a multi like we talked about earlier it's going to be three percent rates and then we can see the animations right here if you get like one of the metal slimes or the gray slimes usually that means you have a higher chance of getting something cool but when i see like the little blue slime sometimes you're not guaranteed so right there we didn't get any of the rainbows let's see if we get faked out over here nope just a bunch of two stars and most likely three star gear and you know you guys saw some of the three star gear like the silver stuff and i guess it's like within like the a tier as long as it's like a little bit different but there you go let's go ahead and do one more roll and we also got like a skill based off of i guess like the weapon and armor armor drops that we just got hopefully we get oh we got an orange slime so that's a little bit different i think we get something pretty cool over here is that going to be an armor because when i got the gray slime i actually got a weapon so okay nothing right here oh goma challenge right here it's gonna turn into a rainbow so that was a fake out so we got the clown trousers right there so i guess look for those animations in case you're like oh is this all that i'm gonna get so this account not really like the best one to technically keep you want ideally a weapon that way you know you can clear stage faster and whatnot so we got the silver platter right there and we don't get any of the skills so that's a little bit weird i think like you know the first roll we actually did we actually got a skill and what's interesting we only got 19 treasure points but you can see here we have 350 of the premium currency now if you click like the three bars right there we'll like do that one more time in case you guys are curious so so we'll hide my logo really quick so you guys can see it this three bars section right here you want to click that all right the reason why you want to click that 
that is because that's going to be providing you this menu right here. And if you actually scroll down, you can go here into manage account and you can erase your game data and it'll essentially do the reroll process for you. I think the reroll process takes five to 10 minutes in case you guys are wondering, is it like, you know, a good reroll process? Yeah, it's sort of like built in. So you can, you know, just jump into like the three bars, delete your game and go from there. Just erase game data. I don't want to do it because I've already rerolled. I kind of don't feel like rerolling in this game because it takes a little bit of time, but let's go ahead and jump right here into the altered altar. And we're actually probably going to change out the gear. So equipment, and then you go to change equipment right here. And then we're going to go ahead. Let's see, does, is there like an auto button? Yeah. So let's do auto. Doesn't change out my pants, does it? All right. So it did change out some stuff. Oh, this one's actually more balanced. So you get 12 of 12. Surprisingly enough, like this four star piece of gear right here, it's not as good as the three star one. So that's kind of interesting to say the least. I guess that's why it suggested me to wear like the plate mail, I guess the plate mail legs, whatever that's called. But let's go ahead and jump into the story and just, you know, show you guys some gameplay because I know some folks are sort of curious on that. We're going to go ahead and jump into what do you want me to do? Little pink dude. We're going to go into forced to do the bonding journey. So go ahead and jump right into here. And I guess the first completion will get die and pop absolutely for free. I'm guessing like that's how you get like the characters you're progressing through story which is kind of nice and sort of interesting as well and you get certain weapons that tie to like specific characters so right here you can see my version of broly i guess in this dragon quest sort of i guess setting and then summoning i'm guessing like die and pop from like the nether realms right here here they are super interesting i like the cutscenes in this they look pretty like you know high quality in my opinion compared to like most other gacha games they don't have like you know high fidelity 3d assets coming into here it's like simple touches towards the game it really goes quite far so there we go we got a new ally right there like right off the bat you just start story so that's really nice i'm hoping that you get ma'am just like this because ma'am's a pretty cool character i love it when ma'am pretty much sasses our boy pop and then i can't wait till we meet hyunko because he is pretty much like the sasuke of this like you know i guess anime or journey whatever you want to call it he's like the one dude who got jaded and he's super powerful and everyone loves him because you know he's a badass all right so i guess we're using die right here what if we don't want to use die what if we want to use our main character all right I mind lending you a hand i mean i don't mind i also like how in this like sort of world you can move like left and right and then you could also like you know jump forward that's like little touches to like auto runners that don't really do stuff and you can cast skills right so right here we're facing them in a straight line we do like the straight line attack they pretty much go and then there we go we pretty much beat that stage we got s s and yeah i like this game it's not like a standard auto runner i thought this was one of the ones where you just sort of like jump in here you don't really you don't have to do anything so all right what does this attack do it's a straight line attack and then that one's i guess like a triple attack right there pretty interesting so let's go ahead and do this like lance attack oh i like this weapon you got like some range some aoe can we like bump forward a little bit no but overall like this is pretty cool we got pop right next to us on the right now and die also like chill with us that'd be really cool honestly like this game is kind of surprising but one thing that i did like kind of hear that wasn't the best was this has like a pretty steep like stamina system which is not cool because you know everyone sort of wants to play a game as long as possible and if you can't like play this game and you have to like spend like actual currency just to you know play it i think that's like unfair so hopefully they fix the stamina system over time but honestly speaking it does doesn't look bad i'm not gonna be investing like any money you know this video isn't sponsored or anything i just want to try this game out and get a feel for it because that's what we do over here in like this channel right we just try out gotcha games see if it's fun if it's not fun then i'll say it's not fun but personally speaking it's different enough to warrant it actually being fun all right we can try to dodge right here all right dodge the punch all right i'm not dodging any of the punches i'm terrible all right pop do like the fire wizards thing all right he did like the little fire lasers pretty cool right there and oh chance there we go we broke him yeah we broke him real good and that's because we use like the skills at the appropriate times even though we kind of just spammed it here's gonna be broly's ultimate skill right here what do you do throw the lasers nice i mean not it wasn't a laser that attack actually reminded me of something from seven deadly sins let me know if you guys remember what it was it was like meliodas pretty much chucking a spear at a certain character but there we go we're probably going to be you know annihilating this golem hopefully soon and i like this 
this personally. It's a fun game and I like how we can like switch between characters very easily. Die doing the Avon slash right there. Very nice. Hopefully we can get a copy of Avon or Avan. I forget how to say his name. We look really snazzy on this quest clear section right here. My first impressions with this game, it doesn't look bad graphically. It just sucks that the stamina system isn't the best. And if you're wondering how I'm playing this, it's not via an emulator. I am playing on my phone via the Samsung Dex feature. I don't know any emulators that this really works on in case you guys are wondering, you know, this video isn't sponsored. So I'm not forced to like say like, hey, this is a Bluestack sponsored video because it's not. But another thing that I want to showcase before and one more thing to showcase in case you guys are wondering, like, how do I grind like this game? What are like the things I should be focusing on? This one says like chapter one, episode 16, you could sort of farm this stage. You could also jump here into, I guess, like chapter one, chapter two, chapter two, six. Like these are like places, I guess, to grind and level up your characters. I guess that's like the main goal. Essentially like level up skills. You want to have multiple skills on your party. I guess like mastering them gets you, I guess, more points. But I'll leave links to, I guess, the JP wiki for this. You know, take it with a grain of salt. Make your own decisions at the end of the day. And you can see here the characters that are going to be joining you where it's Dai, Pop, Ma'am, Crocodine, Avon, and then Yunkle, Sasuke Wannabe. But yeah, these are my first impressions on Dragon Quest Adventures of Dai over on the mobile front. You go right here into the three bars, you hit manage account, erase your game data right here, erase data. This is gonna be how you want to reroll in case you wanna do that. It'll take you to the title screen like we talked about earlier. And then you can essentially, you know, do the whole entire tutorial again in case you wanna do that. But yeah, I think this game is a decent try. Hopefully they fix the stamina system. If they do, I think this is gonna be a pretty fun title to cover or to play. In case you guys want me to do like more guides or videos, you know, smash the like, subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Leave me a comment in case you guys have more tips or anything that you just wanna talk about when it comes to Dragon Quest or anything gotcha related. Have yourself a fantastic day. Don't forget to sign in as a guest while you're doing this so you're not tied to your Google Play account this that and the third have yourself a fantastic day thanks so much for watching don't forget once we hit 27,000 farmers i'll be doing that giveaway see you guys in the next one good luck on your re-rolls